Hi everyone, welcome to Gyrotech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the Cambridge IGCC ICT Paper 2 Data Manipulation, February March 2019. The only variant in this paper, so we're going to look at it. Okay, Tax 3 Database. You're going to prepare some report for the company. Make sure that currency value displays a currency symbol and add to two decimal places. Dates must be imported as day, month, and year. Examine the data in the file M219 CSV, um, M219room.csv, and ft 19 costcsv CSV. Discuss in your OS the advantage and disadvantage of using relational database rather than a flat file database to store the data from these files. Type in your answers in your words in your evidence document, evidence 4. And I've been able to put this down here, so we're going to look at it. Now, for the advantage, it could be data that was repeated in a flat file. Database would only be entered, edited, and deleted once. Two, it could be simpler to create reports with data from all three tables because data are linked together. Three data uh, stored once, so it cuts down any form of inconsistencies of repeated data entry. Okay, and then we have less storage space required for data files. Okay, and um, disadvantage will be harder, is harder to set up a relational database. And yes, it is more technical um, uh, to set up as the technical experts are needed to set up this database. That is an advantage. So more technical expert is needed to set up it. It's complex to set up, and more technical expert is needed to set it up. So that is for this. Okay. Now we're going to create a new relational database. So let's import the file M219 students. To see as the table. So the first thing that we have to open is the back. We have to open the database. Then we're going to click on open. Um, can click on folder. Switch to all files. Okay. Um, I think it's M19 student. Okay, click on open. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on next. Check here. Now, if you watch my 2018 videos, obviously you say I did in a very different step, but still, it's still going to give you the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to ensure that they are all text. So from row number to course is all text then paid is yes and no okay next back Um, no my key field was here. It's given here. Um, okay, so obviously we can we can still do this. Um, we can still do this. Um, yeah, it's fine. We can still work on it. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just quickly going to publish this is showing as a linked table, and that is not what I want. So I can just close this and delete this. Um, it's fine. I can take it off and click on create external data, the new data source 
from text files browse for it I was just trying to see if that would work but obviously that didn't that did give me the result I was looking for so okay so open this okay so obviously this is this is what works best so I was just looking at it so okay so it's fine okay okay so uh, so obviously uh, you have to create the database first before you can do it so I was trying to see if it could work the other way but it's, it's, it's not having a spin at it so rule number okay as yes just we show okay so it's saving now as a table okay and I can switch to design view my lookup from switch this to text box save this switch to data sheet so yeah just going to adjust this a bit so whichever one works is fine right um, but I think this is the best method so far because obviously that is not working okay so all right um, so we're going to take a screenshot now because obviously they want to they want to see this okay so I'm just going to take a screenshot place your evidence document screenshot of the feed name and data type used they want to ensure that all these have been entered so I'm going to click here for my snipping tool new okay this is going to be my evidence 5 okay I'm going to place this in my evidence 5 okay All right. They said the gender, the gender. They are all talking about the gender. They say gender, the gender feed data entry is to be limited to accept only male and female. Okay. Now, complete the table in your evidence document with the word yes or no to identify which of the example will limit the data entry and which would not. If the example does not limit data entry, explain why. So obviously in gender we're having just text and now in gender we have just text and it is going to limit it no and why is that i have it here on my evidence document it is no because it is formatting rather than validation right should have been required and it should have been a required feed so there was a formatting done rather than validation and it should have been a required feed okay now um for b the gender would this limit it okay it has it here yes okay it's going to limit it too and there's even a text so for um the b part yes okay for c will it limit it value list combo box being used uh, i think for c it's going to be a no right because if you check it here if you check this here it is not limited to a list because here we are seeing a value list and that is the source data the value list and we're just having um male female right for this allow multiple values allow only show raw values so um obviously this is for the C part, it's not limited to the list, so no, it's not going to limit. For the D part, no, that that's a checkbox, so obviously it's not going to limit as well. So um, so for the D, no, and not to fit out the existing data, not validation of new data. It's more or less an existing 
a filter used on the existing uh, field, okay? On the existing data as well. Okay, so um, that's that. Okay, so um, okay, so import the file m two nineteen courses to csv as a new table in your database. So let's do that. So now we can save this and right click also and switch to data sheet view. Okay. Okay, so let's let's get to work. Um, so I'm going to click on external data, new data source from file to text file. Okay, browse. We're going to browse um, courses. Okay. Next. Always check the first uh, the first row as your column field, and then we can. The cost is text, cost ref text, location text, start date is date and time, and this is the date is going to be, and they give an example. Uh, weeks is integer tutor is text so we're going to save this next primary key used the cost ref field The cost where feed is going to be a my key. It's going to be the my key for this table. Okay. Close. Okay. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to switch this to um, design view. I'm guessing that's coming on the way. Place your evidence document, screenshot, or design field and data type you use. Obviously, they want to see this. So, um, for the dates, I'm going to use. Um, A long date for it because they want to see it in full so I'm going to save this and I'm going to switch to data sheet view and I will double click on this nope 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 not Wednesday um, I'm just going to copy this because obviously we don't have um, that there. Okay, um, let's see if this works. Save. Okay. Okay, so we want to see this. This is what we want to see. Okay. to DDMMYY, okay? So we want to see that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to switch this to design view. And I'm going to take the screenshot so that this appears as well, okay? And this is going to be in evidence seven. OK. 
que ok, so we are done with this create a data entry form using all the fields in the student table so we're going to create a data entry form using all fields in the student table the form will display only one record at a time okay apply at least four feature to this design to make the design user friendly I think um, we have been doing that so let's um, now they're giving marks for that we did that in 2018 so you can actually check the video of 2018 and also check here to see um how uh, amazing forms we, we do create okay so um, so let's get it for all um feed in student table so let's do that um close save okay um the next thing would be to click on create i'm going to click on form wizard student we're going to move everything okay next they didn't specify which of the format to create but i'm going to stick with come now uh, so this will be a student data entry form Okay, so just by doing this, you have one mark. Apply at least four features, so let's apply those features. Okay, so switch to our design view. That's where we get most of the work done. Click on format. Okay. Okay, I think I prefer red. Okay, we could stick to white, bolded. Okay. All right. So we have this here. Now the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to create a form. We're going to create buttons rather. So let's create these buttons. We need to drag the buttons we create. Now under the record operation, um, we have add new record text um, yep so that's that you could just format it to this change it to red bolded we can still make it like 14 so we have this here Okay. All right. So we have that here. So um, the next thing we're going to create here is. All right. So we have. We can add a delete record. It's fine. Text. Format the shape, we can change the shape. Okay, the next one is we 
we have save record mm -hmm. I think save record is fine I, I prefer using symbols because I want my examiner to see them and not ask questions later <laughs> okay so this will be 14 okay okay so format form design rather we're going to add just two more under the uh, record navigation so it will be to the uh, next I say at least four, but you know me. I like to do too much. <laughs> All right, so we have this. Okay, click on format. I'm going to change, uh, change the shape, form design. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do, we're going to click here. Format, the shape outline here. Um, the shape, the line thickness, we can just make this, okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So I think we are done. Yes. So we can just switch this to, um, the layout okay so we have next we have previous we have save we have add okay so apply these four features to this form to make the design user friendly so I've added colors to it I've added buttons to it We can add, you know, um, on that page, we could add, um, okay, just checking, we could add what we call, uh, if, um, Okay. Okay. Um, combo. Okay. I'm just trying to look for it here. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, 
yes option group yeah option group is what I, I need yes so we can add this so we can have yes and we can have no okay, one for yes two for no store this value into a paid field and I want it to have just this no not a shared box neither a toggle button mm, I want to have a video button So this is going to be for paid okay so we have this here so shape outline can have a thickness click on format bold okay so I can just take this off okay so I'm just going to uh, I liked everything here okay okay so we have this so let's switch to um, the form view let me take this off and let's see It's not giving me what I want. Property sheets, data. It's supposed to give me I think it's working but the buttons are not working 
Um, okay, I'm just going to create another one quickly because um, it's not getting me what I want and I'm not happy. Yes, no. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Okay. Um, I, I think I... So obviously I have to click this as the default value. Let me check from view. Okay, so obviously that doesn't work. I'm just gonna pause this for a while. Okay, um, I've been able to get it. Um, so obviously, what we are going to do is let me just take it off. Um, let's take this one off. Now, obviously, what you're going to do is right here, um, you click, you draw. Now, we just type in yes and no. Okay. Um, nope. Now, the default value for yes is minus one. Y for no is zero. Obviously, that was why it was not showing. Because we use one and two, it doesn't recognize it. So, default value is minus one for yes and default value is zero for no okay so we'll store this under for paid okay so we have that here um next so we can have paid here paid finish so we can apply what we have apply, been applying Okay, and probably I'm just going to, I think I'll format this as well, both, format this also as well, both, okay, so we have this now, it's going to work, so we can switch to our form view, and there we have it, okay, so there we have it. So if we move, it's also moving along with it. Okay. All right. See? So I think we've been able to add. Okay. Uh, we could also add a male and female for gender. Yeah, we should. Now for other gender, we're going to create. An option group. Now the users are going to select if it's gender or not. think we can use let's see no that's not what we want so we're going to add um, let's see the combo
是真的，真的。Okay, let's see if this is okay. Oh boy. Okay, so uh, obviously that's not what I want to do, but probably I, I think we can just use this as well. I wanted to use a drop down for this, but and I wanted to use a drop down for this. So obviously I'm going to um. Okay, so um, to get this done, I think I did that wrong, so let's adjust it. So I'm just going to take this one off. Form design uh, combo box still. And I'm just going to drag it. Then it will be. I want to type. It's too much. Um, let me create it again. Okay. No, I think it's too. Let me just take this off. Okay. Yeah, I think this is better. So I want to type this in and I'll type my M here. You know what? Let me just delete this. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have this. Yep, that's fine. Um, so I have my mail female store this value in the gender type gender here okay Okay, so I'm just going to click on Okay I'll Write this, I'm going to click on Format, Outline Okay, I'm just going to choose the thickness Okay Yes, so I think we've been able to um, add, delete, save, next, previous. We can just add one more. To close form. It should be a text. It should just exit, not stop. Okay. So I have form here. Okay, I'm just going to increase this to 14. Okay, yeah. No. Change the shape to this. Alright. Okay. So we have this here. So this is working. And we have the drop down here. Okay. 
I think we have done a good job here. Now use the data entry form to enter this data as a new record. Okay. So this will be to add new record. Paste it here. Mail. Is going to be yes. Now take evidence of the form with the new record displayed and place this in your evidence document. Okay, so I'm just going to take a screenshot here. Evidence it. Okay. Import the file m219 rooms to csv Okay So I'm going to add it close Yes To so click on external data New data source from form to text file. Search it. This one is a room. Open it. Okay. Next. Feed row contains feed name. Next. Text, text, text. Weekly cost should be in currency. Yes. Place your evidence document screenshot of the fee name and data type used in the table.
Mm. Okay. Obviously, they want to see these changes. So I'm going to take this pin to this will be evidence nine. Create one to many relationship between the tables using okay. So I'm going to create one to one to many relationship. We have um, primary key to foreign key. Okay, great. Primary key cost ref to foreign key cost code. Okay. Please in your screenshot, in your evidence document, screenshot of the relationship showing their types. Okay. So I'm going to edit this. Now I'm going to take some I'm going to take two screenshots. I'm going to take this first one. So it makes it easier for me. Okay. This will be what? Evidence 10. Okay, right click on this, click on edit relationship, double click on it, you can just double click on it, and I'm going to take the screenshot, okay,
Okay. Okay. So I think this is completed. Okay. Produce a tabular report using fields from the relevant table. Okay. So we're going to produce a tabular report. Now we're going to show only this report. So please report we have to create a query. Okay, so let's create a query. We're going to close. Query with that a simple query. We have a row number. First name, last name, gender, course code, okay. The cost location, the cost, let me see, cost code, take this back, cost, then location, start date, and then tutor. Obviously, this is Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Display data and labels in full. Okay, so no, that's fine. Um, let's click on. Let's look over the table. The title we want to give total delegates. Copy. All right. Okay, so now um Select only course where the course code starts with A. Okay. To the course code. Okay. So we're going to switch now to our design view. So, okay. I'll be taking off this. So we can see what we are doing here. And so I just want to bring you to this slide and so that we can see it. So right here, now they say it starts with an A. It's what we call a wildcard. This is, um, it has to contain this or maybe Chatum Tatum or something. Um, it has to contain Michael. Now we use the asterisk for both of them. But if it's to begin, we use the asterisk at the end. And if it's to end, we use asterisk at the beginning. Okay, so this simply means that this is going to start um, the numbers, and this simply means that it's ending with this particular thing. Okay, so with that understanding, let's do this. Um, the course code we have a asterisk. Because obviously, right here is what starting with it. 
that will start with the letter that, okay? And uh, okay, let's run it. Okay. All right, the next one is uh, okay. So, obviously, this is the title here. I made a mistake by going to copy it. So, this is a query, okay. This is the query also. Okay, um, okay, I think we're done. Okay, I'm just going to rename this and paste this here. Okay, now we're going to create the report for it to just move everything the way it is. And the set, obviously, we're not grouping the data. Ascending order of course code. Descending order of wait, ascending order of course code. Ascending order of last name. A page orientation of landscape. to paste this as well just type it the way it is okay uh, we can close the print preview change it to layout view row number First name, Gender Cost Code.
cos location start date Tutor. Okay. Just going to adjust it. I think this is going to be adjusting. Okay, calculate the number of delegates on this on these courses and position the numbers under the last name column. The numbers of delegates, so let's calculate the numbers of delegates. Okay, so um Okay, uh, to ensure nothing is being cut off. Right, um, so let's work on this. Okay, so calculate number of delegates of this course and position this number under the last column, um, last name column. So, so we're just going to click here, report layer, layout design, click records. Okay. Has a label total delegates to the left of this value. Switch to design view. Add labels. Okay. okay. Anything else? Has a name, center number, can it number display on each of the reports? Okay, so I have a n zero one seven twenty twenty three. Format here to centralize it. Okay, format here. Okay, um, bold this. 
this is going to increase it to 14 okay I think we have done a good job here so we can just um, click on print preview directly to ensure that the work is not cut now let's switch to um, layout view so let's adjust that okay Okay. So save and print the report. So let's print it. This is going to be a printout tool. Okay. Okay. Please, yeah, if this document is screenshot showing the formula used to calculate the numbers of delegates. Okay, so I'm going to close this right here on my design. Take a screenshot. This will be evidence eleven. Just going to save this, close it. Okay, mm. so let's go to the next um, question. Produce a tabular report from the relevant table that contains a new field. So let's look at the fields. So show only the field. So let's create a query for it. Click on create query wizard. A simple query. Now don't don't select enter on the query. So we're going to use a table. So here we have first name. last name paid location weeks room type weekly cost and price okay title will be 
Okay. Uh, now, um, a new field called price, which is calculated at one time and displayed as currency, the price will calculate weekly cost multiplied by weeks. Okay, we're going to switch it to design view. Click on Design View, click on Builder, weekly close, cost, multiplied by weeks. So right here in this expression, We're going to take off this and paste this as price. So the price here will be weekly cost multiplied by weeks. And it has to be displayed as a currency. I'm just going to okay. Okay, going to run it. Switch to design view. Decimal places here, two decimal places. Run it. Select only records where the location is armored. Location is armored. Okay, so design view. Location is armored. And paid is no. Okay. So the next thing right now is we're going to create a report for it. Okay, so this is So this is safe, close, we're going to create a report for it, Ahmad, just switch to Ahmad, yeah, move everything here, okay, um, What are we sorting? Sort weekly cost in descending order. So weekly cost in descending order. Weekly cost in descending order and the last name in ascending order. OK. 
Okay, weekly cost descending order, last name descending order. Okay, should be what portrait. Okay. Close. This is going to be a. I will change the view to a layout view. So the first one is first name. First name here. Then we have last name. We have paid. Location Weeks Room type weekly course okay. after location is weeks sorry. Weeks group type weekly course so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five is eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, they're in this order. Just going to adjust this a bit. Okay, hold in control and then you use the out key to move it. Okay, this is good. Now, the next one is I said calculate the total price and place this below the feed price. Let's calculate the total price. This is the total price. Display a label total payments to collect. 
copy okay total payments to so I'm going to switch this to design view okay uh, yeah going to use the label type it here formats okay Display your name, center number, candy number. I didn't look at this other one. Your name on each of the page. Okay, yeah, it's fine. So display your name, center number, candy number at the top right of the report. Okay, so the one is here. So my name, comma, A N zero one seventeen, comma twenty twenty three. Going to move this format right. Okay, so this is make it increase it here. Okay, so we're going to save this report. Uh, I think we're done here. Uh, okay, I'm going to switch views. Layout view. Okay, you can just put this as well because they want this at the top right of the report. Okay, payments to collect. Okay, so at this point now we're going to save and print, save, so I'll switch the view now to print, review, okay, this is how the work is going to look like, this is okay, nope, it's not. Okay, I'm going to save this work now. Okay. Save, change it to print preview. This is going to be our printout tree. Okay, I didn't even check, but let me see. I think it's this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Close. And then we close. So I think we are done with this paper. And it's 39 marks. So obviously we can just check what we have done. Okay. Um the printout too to ensure nothing is overlapping. Okay, it's always
important that you check. Okay, make sure you check your work properly before sending to the printer. So I think we're done. And please, um, I know it's been quite long, but please, um, yeah, we have to do, do those modifications to ensure you understand what we're talking about. And please don't just watch and watch this video. Please practice along with it. And please don't just practice, like this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more in-depth teaching on IGCSE, ICT, practical and both theoretical videos. Bye.